Uh, Rohan, thank you very much for joining us at this hour. Well, 10, uh, 13 years ago, in fact, you had reached the uh, final of a Grand Slam in men's double. That was with Esam Qureshi. 13 years later with Ebden, how was this time different, though the result was the same? Uh, hi, Rika. First of all, thank you so much, uh, you know, for uh, uh, having me. And uh, uh, the number one thing, first of all, to, uh, uh, you know, talk about uh, uh, making that final is the 13-year gap, right? I mean, at the end of the day, for an athlete to be playing at a high level up for 13 years itself is a long period of time. Uh, you know, so that doesn't happen often. So uh, obviously in two, uh, 2010, when uh, I made a final with Qureshi, that was a breakthrough year. Uh, so the biggest thing for me is that, uh, you know, I was able to sustain it for such a long period of time to play at a high level. And that's the most important thing to do and to be able to, uh, you know, still compete at the highest level, uh, you know, compete for a Grand Slam title. Uh, you know, I think I'm very proud of myself for, uh, you know, being there, um, uh, you know, playing at the highest uh, competitive uh, level against uh, the best players in the world. And I really believe that, uh, you know, I genuinely had a chance to win that title and uh, we were as close as, uh, as it could get. And, um, uh, you know, so really extremely happy with, uh, uh, you know, making that final. Yeah, winning and losing, of course, at the end of the day, uh, uh, you know, you want to win titles. You played uh, these big events to win titles and, uh, you know, making a semifinals at Wimbledon this year and then final um, at the U.S. Open clearly shows that, uh, you know, the mental strength I bring in uh, even uh, today after playing for such a long time, bringing that experience. And uh, I think the experience is where, which is really, uh, you know, shown from 2010 to 2023. Well, uh, Novak Djokovic has said that 36 is the new 26. For you, could 43 be the new 33? Uh, no, 43 is the 43 because I, you know, I really believe that uh, the experience I have today at 43, I, I, it's far more higher than what I had at uh, 33. Uh, you know, so I really uh, uh, think the uh, completely the mental strength today, what I have is where, uh, uh, you know, uh, the biggest positive thing which has taken me to this level and, uh, you know, uh, made me play at, uh, uh, you know, a level that I will always uh, believe that I could be playing at. Uh, Rohan, let's talk about your journey a little bit. Two years ago, you considered retiring from the circuit. Then you came back. You had a very bad knee injury. Tell us a, a little bit about how you turned things around. Uh, first of all, Riga, I'm not sure where you <laughs> read that or that I was considering retiring, but uh, you know, I don't think I ever mentioned uh, that personally. I said it was, uh, uh, you know, I did have a lot of uh, knee injuries and uh, in terms of, uh, 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 you know, having no cartilages on my knee. And uh, uh, back in 2019, I was on two, three painkillers a day and I, uh, uh, yeah, you know, physically had a lot of pain. Uh, in 2020, I started on doing some Iyengar yoga, which I think uh, made a tremendous of a difference, uh, you know, in my uh, uh, physically uh, uh, to gain a lot of strength in my body again. And I went from uh, pay, uh, two, three painkillers a day to no painkillers today. And uh, I think that was a significant part of, uh, you know, me being able to play uh pain-free and as an athlete anytime you are pain-free I think that is the biggest strength and uh, I think the yoga itself uh, you know helped in uh, in a big way of uh, aligning my body in a better shape uh, building that mental strength as well and uh, uh, I think so that during that pandemic that four five months of uh, uh, doing four sessions a week uh, of Iyengar yoga I think made a you know huge impact and a huge self-belief again to, uh, you know, go out there and compete and, uh, you know, uh, play my best tennis. Rohan, uh, let's talk a little bit about the match itself, the US Open final. Uh, you had won the first set and then uh, suddenly the momentum uh, swung. There was a point that you could have won except the ball uh, brushed your hand and you told the referee that uh, that you would like to concede the point to the opponent. You were praised, and we could hear the uh, we could hear the claps, the thunder of the claps from there to from New York to Delhi. T 
tell us a little bit about you know game manship and how important is it how difficult it is firstly to concede such a point to your opponent at that critical juncture and the importance of game manship uh after all rika tennis is a you know gentleman's game it's always been a gentleman's game and i think uh, uh i'm thankful to uh, to my parents the upbringing i've had and always to do the right thing uh and the minute that ball touched my elbow uh, i immediately called it upon on myself and i really believe that was the right thing to do uh, irrespective of what the score was or you know uh, how big the match was or uh, you know which part of the match or the score line it would have been i think i would always done that uh and i really believe that uh, winning and losing is part of the game but uh, uh having the right integrity of playing the sport and doing it the right way i think today uh, i sleep better knowing the fact that uh, uh, you know yes uh, i lost the final but still i uh, i think i'm far better taking that over knowing the fact that the ball touched touched my elbow and i ended up winning the point i don't think i would have uh, uh, slept well for many many days knowing that uh, you know something like that would have happened so i think it uh, it is an inbuilt thing and i uh, always had that and uh, uh, i I I really thought at that point of time it is a, a right thing to do for me. Rohan your backhand uh, returns would make uh, Stan Wawrinka proud. Tell us how do you see yourself going into the Asian Games and do we see you playing the circuit the Grand Slam circuit next year? Uh yeah actually I mean uh, just to be compared uh, you know to Stan uh, uh, by you is amazing thing I mean he's uh, uh definitely uh, one of the guys i've watched over the years uh, winning a lot of matches with that backhand yeah and i was really uh feeling it uh, pretty comfortable during the entire tournament and i was hitting a lot of uh, uh, good returns out there and we are going into the asian games i'm looking uh, you know confident of uh, you know being there again uh, i think it's a, we have a great uh, shot of winning a medal for india uh and after that yes uh, uh, looking to continue with matt have been uh, going into next year and uh, you know seeing uh, you know how that progresses uh, this weekend i have a uh, big big match coming up in uh, lucknow in the davis cup it's uh, it's, it's going to be my last tie so a little mixed emotions going into lucknow and uh, yeah but still uh, having said that i think it's been uh, a good 21 years of being part of the davis cup team and i'm looking forward to you know supporting the boys in uh, every single way but i also looking forward to playing my last match there in lucknow rohan you and um, and uh, novak djokovic you know you have just reversed the saying that tennis is a young man's game have you guys been exchanging some secret notes <laughs> actually unfortunately uh, you know i would love to sit down and chat with him and uh, you know pick his brain with all the uh, fantastic experience and expertise he brings into the 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 game but uh, yeah maybe uh in the coming season in the indoor season i'll get more time uh, yeah, you know to may, uh, meet him and maybe pick his brain on it rohan thank you very very much for joining us any time that we see you on the field now we'll consider as the bonus